There are 12 protect variations and today we are going to rank them all from worst to best. While some of these are very similar to each other, they pretty much all fulfill a slightly different purpose. Now even though I'm more of a singles player, I will only take singles into consideration a little bit in this video. Doubles players seem to be the more responsible of the bunch and load up on protection, while us single players rarely use it. Nice. I will be looking at overall effectiveness of the move for this video and not worrying too much about distribution. The role this move fills will be considered with the move Protect being the baseline for ranking. And I won't be ranking Max Guard in this list as it is only accessible on D-Max and G-Max mods in Generation 8. In my last video, someone said I sounded like the number 15. Burger King foot lettuce guy. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? I personally don't see it. But if they just wanted a bad impression, it might just be what they get. In the worst spot, I'm sad to put map lock. This move tried to be a bud as it protects your ally along with the user from all physical and special moves for the turn, but this move just came up short and is too flawed to be higher on this list. It's the only protection move that does not have increased priority, which wouldn't be the worst thing if used on a super fast mod, but it also only works the first turn out like the moves fake out and first impression. This makes it a dead move slot after one turn, and even during that one turn it might not even do much, as you can get outsped, you're still vulnerable to getting flinched by fake out, you aren't protected from status moves, and prankster moves could shut you down before you even use map lock. The benefit this move has over the other spread protection moves is protecting against non-priority and non-spread moves. It could in theory give your ally a chance to set up, but overall it's going to sit as the worst on this list. Coming in at number 11, just missing out on being the worst protection variation, we have Silk Trap. This is a signature move of Spite Ops, and unlike Map Lock, this move actually has priority. Well, the rest of these moves all do. But Silk Trap isn't necessarily super terrible, but it's just not the best. It protects the user from all physical and special moves, with the added bonus of lowering attacker's speed by one stage if they use a contact move. But the fact that this move fails to protect against status moves lands it this low on the list. There are a few others that share this property of allowing status moves to get through, but they all have way better upsides to using them. The speed lowering one stage really isn't that good for leaving yourself open to status. In 10th position we have the only protection variation that doesn't protect against attacking moves. This is the move Crafty Shield. It protects the user and allies from all status moves. This can be useful for blocking prankster moves as it out-prioritizes them. It can block taunt, annoying status inflicting moves, encore, whatever people are using. What separates it from other protect variations is its ability to be used however many times in a row without failing. So even though you are vulnerable to attacking moves, you can protect your party against status moves indefinitely. Number 9 on this list goes to another doubles based protection move. This is Quick Guard. While it is a pretty niche type of protection, only blocking priority moves, it allows your ally to not worry about getting Fako flinched turn 1, you can protect the low ally from getting picked off by priority, and you can aid your ally in setting up by blocking a Thunder Wave, Taunt, or more from Prankster users since they are classified as priority. Overall it can be a pretty decent move, but definitely not a higher tier protection option. In the 8th position we have Detect. It protects cool fighting type cousin and serves the same purpose functionally. It protects the user from attacking and status moves that turn. The reason why it's down here is because it only has half the PP of Protect. So Protect is the better option as it has a lot less fear of running out of PP. The reason it stands above the other Protect variations is because it's still a good move regardless as its function is the same. It is probably pretty rare you would use more than 8 Protects in a doubles match and in the rare case you run into an imprisoned Pokemon with Protect, you would still be able to use Detect as it is a different move. Now we are starting to get into the middle tier protection moves, and at number 7 we see Obstagoon's signature move Obstruct. Obstruct is a protection variant that shields from attacking moves, but not status moves. The benefit however, is any move that would have made contact with the user will lower the attacker's defense by 2 stages. This could be useful for scouting attacks, blocking moves like Fake Out, and as a means to inflict more damage next turn, or the same turn via your ally. You would ideally use this with a physical attacker on the field, as you will do a lot more damage with the defense drops. 
It would force switches as a defense drop is a lot more threatening than say a speed drop from Silk Trap. We have a really similar move in the 6 spot with King Shield. This is Aegislash's signature move allowing it to switch forms. It has the same function as Obstruct, but instead of lowering defense, it lowers attack. Prior to Generation 8, this move was a lot better as Contact would lower attack by 2 stages. But since it only lowers attack by 1 stage now, I could see an argument for Obstruct being in this spot instead. Let me know what you think the better overall move is. This is still an effective move that punishes physical attackers. It's like getting an Intimidate off and helps you and your ally tank more physical hits. No doubt if I was ranking these solely on which mods have access, this would be a bit higher. In the 5th spot, we have our last doubles only move in Wide Guard. This is a protection move that protects the user side of the field from all spread moves. This could be attacks like Rock Slide and Earthquake, or status moves like Poison Gas that target multiple mons. This is ranked this high due to how common spread moves are in doubles. Being able to protect the whole side of the field from spread moves while having your other mon attack is a really nice tool to use. It also protects you from moves used by your ally like Surf and Sludge Wave that normally would hit everyone on the field. These useful feats put it just below the top tier choices coming up. In spot number 4 we get to Ol Reliable. Protect sits here in the upper tier of the list. It's pretty simple. It protects you from attacking and status moves. It is seen in singles as well, primarily on Pokemon using the move Wish or Sub Leech Seed users. It can be used to help rack up status damage on the opponents and gain chip health back for leftovers or abilities like Poison Heal. It is probably the most important move in VGC as the whole landscape of the game would be completely different without it. It is definitely a high tier move that virtually every Pokemon has access to. The mind games of Protect is something you have to learn if you want to be successful in competitive doubles formats. Spot number 3, I'm going to give to Burning Bulwark. If we are talking about just distribution, this wouldn't be so high, but just talking about the move itself, I'm going to put it slightly above Protect. This is thanks to its effect of inflicting burn on any Pokemon who makes contact against the user of this move. Unlike the other protection moves at lower stats, this carries an effect even if the user switches out. It can severely cripple physical attackers, and you would have a big advantage mind game wise with this move on your side. Deterring fake out for one is huge, and a good chunk of physical moves make contact, along with a few special moves. It doesn't block status moves which prevents it from being higher, but I think that helps balance this great move out. The top two moves I feel are just up and above the competition. They are protect variations that do everything the move protect does, and more. Coming in second we have the move Spiky Shield. It has no downsides like other protect variations, like less PP or not blocking certain moves. This move protects the user from all moves that target it. The added benefit here is any move making direct contact with a Spiky Shield user will deal damage equal to 1 eighth of the attacker's max HP. There is no reason not to run this over protect if you have the option. The chip damage is pretty solid as it can break a sash or sturdy, put the opponent into range of a KO, and just to turn them from attacking into that slot in general. It definitely deserves to be in this position thanks to all of these factors. But the top protection move of all has to go to Toxapex's Baneful Bunker. Now Pex isn't much of a doubles mon, but that doesn't devalue how good this move is. In singles it is still used fairly often as it allows Pex to protect itself from all attacks and status moves. If someone makes contact when this move is in effect, it inflicts a poison status condition. This is just better protect and better spiky shield as the poison damage will continue even after that one turn. Spiky shield is definitely better against steel and poison types, but I'd much rather have the opportunity to poison the other types this move can affect. If you have a poison opponent, this move still functions as well as protect does with the added benefit of you being able to stall out some poison damage. It is the safest protection move with arguably the highest payoff. While a burn from Bulwark is nice against physical attackers, this will do more damage as poison does double the damage than burn per turn. In special Pokemon who use contact moves like Draining Kiss or Grass Knot, or physical moves like Flip Turn and U-Turn to Pivot, would be punished harder by this move. Overall just an incredible protect variation that can easily call itself king. Bruh. Do you agree with these picks? Drop a comment and let me know. While you're at it, why don't you become a bud and hit that sub. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this one next. Catch you later, buds.